everyone, welcome. Today we're going to talk about the file system object. What is this object? And what are the different methods for this object? And uh, how this object is useful in the projects? Basically, if you want to look at Windows file system, right? You want to create some folders under the C drive. Or you want to delete a folder. Or you want to create some files under a particular folder. Or you want to move. Or you want to copy. So basically if you want to handle your Windows file system through scripting, that's where you are going to use this file system object. So it allows you to manipulate the drives, folders and the files with different objects and methods. File system object is the main object or the parent object and then you have the drive, drives, then file, files, folder, folders and text stream. These are all the different objects on this file system object. So these are the child objects. So we're going to work some of these objects and different methods to see what are the basic operations you can do with this file system object. So in order to work with this uh, block event, if you go to quick test professional help, then that's going to display whole different methods that support this file system object. So you can use any of these methods, pretty simple. And then say for example, here we are going to use, say you want to create a folder. So go to this create folder method that explains the script, right? How you can create these objects. So this is what the function in VBScript part. So this is how you can create a folder. So all you're going to do is just you're going to create a file system object. So these are the two variable declarations. Like you declare two variables, FSO and F. And then you're going to create an object. So you're going to use the set method in order to create an object. And this is the variable name the object variable and the create object is the method and this is the class ID. Scripting dot file system is the class ID. So once you create this file system object then this object is going to contain different methods. One of such method is create folder. Again you are going to create a folder object because the folder object is going to contain again different methods right? That means you can create a file inside the folder or you can delete a file. That's why it itself is an object and that is going to support again different other methods. So you're going to create one more object using the set and the variable name is f and you're going to use the file system object now and that has a method called create order. Create, sorry, create folder. And then you're going to mention which folder you want to create. So you're going to mention here the path under my C drive. So there is a, a demo folder. So under this folder, I want to create a new folder. That is my um, test FS4 folder. So this way, you just declare two variables, create a file system object, and then you can create a folder. Just a couple of lines, how you can handle this. So let's run this. Okay, so it started executing. Now it's created that folder. So now let's look at the file system. What happened? So under demo, I got that def test FSO folder is created. Even if you look at the details, the timestamp when it was created. So this is the timestamp. So this way, you can also 
look at like how this folder is created and but this folder folder is empty right because there are no files we just created a folder now you want to create a, a file into this folder okay that's the doable all you have to do is again go and select from here create file method so if you're going to look at say create text file method and then now you are going to look at so again you have, you have to this is the piece of code again how you are going to create a file so go back to your script and then paste this code piece of code and then you can modify as per your requirement so anyway we already created file system object so I'm going to delete these things <laughs> then let's uh, create one more variable say my file here separated by comma because I'm going to use that variable here and then anyway like we already created a folder I don't need this line I comment that out and then now again I'm going to create a text file again it is an object file object because it's going to contain again different methods like you want to write something into the file there is a method for that so that's why you're going to create an object again file object set my file and then again you're going to use the file system object that contains different method now create text file before we use create folder method and now we use create text file method and now you're going to mention where you want to create this text file so you can mention the path and the file name that's it so that what this tool is going to do is if the file file, file already exists it's going to override so let's uh, do this execution click on run this script oh sorry I forgot to tell you and the next line what it's going to do is because you created already file file object and then that file object is having a method called write line and then this is going to write the line uh, what you want to put it this is the content of the file so let's execute this alright so the script is executed and now you're going to look at uh, your folder and then see whether that file is created or not yes I got the file created under the test fs for folder so even if you open this file then it tells you the content of the file this is a test so this way you can create a file and you can write something into the file using text stream object so now you say I want to move the file or I want to copy the file okay so you can to click on this copy file method and then so you can specify from where from which folder to which folder you want to copy this file so it's pretty simple like you're going to mention uh, one line so how you want to move this file like from where to where the source and destination so go to your KDP script and then so here you're going to mention so this is a file system object FS4 and now we're going to say copy file and what is that file you want to copy so this is the file and where you want to copy the destination folder right so let's create one more folder here so I'm going to uncomment this line and then so comment these two things because we don't need these two 
objects. So I'm going to create a new folder, say FSO1. Or you can say FSO destination folder. Okay. So then you're going to copy this one here. That way it's going to copy this file into this folder. Okay. So let's run this. Okay, it seems like there are some permission issues. Uh, maybe I don't have right permissions into that folder. That's why it's saying permission denied. Right, that's okay. That's how Hatcherak you can um, write. Uh, uh, you can you can um, copy the file from one folder to the other folder. Okay, usually like a, that that permission issues is something. If you're not the administrator or you don't have read write permissions into that folder then it's going to restrict okay so that's actually like you can um, you can create this folder and then copy uh, the file into the folder okay similarly you can also move that move file into the file folder it's the same thing but instead of copy file you're going to say move file and also <laughs> you can use different other methods they are pretty simple um, if you want to delete a file then you can say you can also check whether that particular file exists in that particular folder if it exists then you can delete it right so you can also do that way so check for existence of the file okay so if that particular file exists then you can delete it okay so this is good this is going to uh, write some piece of code here if else condition right so I'm going to do here some if else condition so you're going to check if this particular file exists then you're going to delete if that doesn't exist then you want to say this is the file we're going to check the existence of that particular file right fso is the file system object the file that exists is the method and you're going to check whether this particular file exists in this folder if it exists then you're going to say put some message box here oh okay that particular file exists else you're going to say um, no that particular file doesn't exist then that that kind of messages so just copy paste this file or you can also say something directly here just you want to put the message say file exists or message box file doesn't exist right so now we are going to check uh, whether the particular file exists or not so we're going to run this uh, so this one I'm going to comment um, I think we are good to go let's do run this script Okay, so it says the file exists. Okay, so this I just going to verify whether the particular file exists or not using ex file exist method. 
and then if you if it exists then you want to do something okay I want to delete that file so you can use the delete file method so this way these methods are pretty simple uh, just you have to make sure what you want to do with this Windows file system so the delete file delete file method this one so how we are going to delete just you can simply say delete that particular file okay so you're going to check if that particular file exists then delete it so which file you want to delete you're going to mention the file name with the path okay so let's run this Okay, it says file exists. Okay, now all right, the script is executed, and uh, if you go back and look at that particular folder, so the file is gone. So no file, it's deleted. So this way, you're going to use all these methods, whatever mentioned here, and just it's just one or two lines statements to handle your Windows file system. Okay, so there are all the different methods. Okay, so that's all uh, on this uh, video to learn these basic things. You can also explore the other methods yourself. Um, and then we are going to discuss the other topic in my next video. Early we are going to talk about some advanced features like the framework and that stuff in the future videos. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Have a good day. Bye.